Next, the deformation has to be small. The rule of thumb here is that if you can see visible deformation, the result is probably not accurate. So these are the limitations of working with Simulation Express. And if you're comfortable working with these limitations, then Simulation Express is going to be the right tool for you. It's easy to use and it's very helpful. You need a simple single part, simple constraint, single linear material, static load, and small deformation. All right, let's get to work. Let's activate Simulation Express. We'll go to the Evaluate tab. Let's click the Flyout to see the rest of the tools here and click on Simulation Express Analysis Wizard. Here's the wizard on the right. Take a moment to read through the notes. And let's click Next at the bottom of the wizard. On the left-hand side of our screen, we see a new tree for Simulation Express Study. It's got three nodes by default, Part, Fixtures, and External Loads. In our wizard, the first thing we're prompted to do is add a fixture. We can also right-click on the Fixtures node and select Fix Geometry. This also starts the Add a Fixture process. Let's select this face. And basically what this selection does is restrict this face from any movement. More than one face can be selected if needed. Let's click OK 